Okay, this video is about how to approximate irrational numbers. So otherwise, how to approximate basically some like square roots, okay? Remember, an irrational number is a number that can go on forever without terminating. That means it never ends, and, um, and it doesn't repeat. And some of the big, the most common irrational numbers are square roots. And so what I'd like to do is show you how you can approximate them, you know, like uh, estimate about what value they are. You know, like what's what's between. First thing you need to know is what is a perfect square. All right, a perfect square is when you have. Um, let me give you the best way to, to example is this really, is is to show you like one times one is one. All right, two times two is four. Three times three is nine. Four times four is sixteen. Five times five is twenty-five. 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49, then we got 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100, 11 times 11 is 121, 12 times 12 is 144, 13 times 13 is 169, and we're going to stop right here. <clears throat> okay, so how, this will be perfect for what I need to show you. But a perfect square really is a, think of a square, and both sides are the exact same length, because all, on a square, all sides are the same. And so a perfect square would be like 2 times 2, the area would be 4, okay? Or if it was 3 times 3, the area would be 9. <clears throat> so this is where perfect square actually comes in. S perfect uh, square, which looks like this, if we were actually doing a 2 square or 3 square, the opposite is its square root, so it'd be like this. So these two guys right here are basically these two guys here are really the opposite of each other, just like adding and subtracting are opposite, multiplying and dividing are opposite. So Here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to come up with a square root. And you have to think what number times itself will give me that number. And so let's do a perfect square right now so that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> so let's say we have 36. I need to know what number times itself will give me 36. And if you look at our perfect squares, you can see that 6. 6 times 6 is 36. And so 6 is my number. Now, irrational number. Now, that's a rational number. Understand what we're just showing you is a rational number because it can come out as a, a fraction. And so, like, really, 6 over would be 6 over 1. So this is a rational number. But let's talk about now what an irrational number would look like. All right? So that one was a rational number. Let's look at an irrational number. All right, so I'm going to put something simple here. Let's put um, 40. All right, I need to find what numbers, perfect square-wise, would fit here. Now, let's look at our chart over here on the left. If you look at our chart, I'm looking for 40, and I'm going to put 40 in a different color so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right, so 40 is falls between these two guys here. And so you know your number is between 6 and 7. And the closer for, uh, the 40 is to one side or the other, it can tell you if it's uh, below 6.5 or if it's higher than 6.5. So in this case we know our number is probably just a little bit lower than 6.5, maybe 6.3, 6.4. Okay, but your basic concern is that this is between 6 and 7. So our answer when we do this is between 6 and 7. Okay, so of course we can actually put this in the graphing calculator. And so you could put the square root of 40 in there, and you actually will tell you it will be 6.3, get my little point there, 2, 4, and it goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on. Okay, so this is an irrational number, but if we were to approximate it, we'd say it's between 6 and 7. And you remember what I said, it's actually going to be lower than 6.5, and it is, we can see it's 6.3. Let's do one more real quick, and so I'm going to erase this part right here, and we're going to do one more. We're just making a video so you can get the idea of how to do this. It's not as hard as you think. Let's come up with a big number, all right? 
Let's say that we are going to take um, uh, 1,200 uh, and let's say uh, 42. Now I don't know if this is a perfect square or not. Okay, so we're going to check it out here and see what we get. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Notice I don't have 1,242 in our, my line of perfect squares. But I can kind of round it off here. Let's kind of talk about this. I'm going to put these in different colors so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you can see it's separated a little bit. All right, so let's say we know that uh, 20 times 20 is 400. 30 times 30 is 900. 40 times 40 is 1,600. All right, already you know your number is between 30 and 40. All right, and if you kind of look at between nine and sixteen, that's pretty close to, I mean, twelve. If you take nine plus sixteen, that's twenty-five. That's twelve something. So otherwise, what I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to see is our number going to be close to half? Half is going to be less than a half or over half? So I'm taking nine and sixteen, and that is twenty-five. And if I divide that by two, then I know my number is somewhere around twelve point five. That's really like one twenty-four. All right. So I know our number is less than uh, a half. So here's what I'm going to predict. So we know for sure, we know for sure that this number is going to be between 30, and I want to write this right, I don't want to put it there. We're going to say it's between 30 and 40. All right? <clears throat> now I do know a little trick that also helps. I also know that 30, I can the, the, anything that two digit fives. So I know it's oh it's over at 30, 35. So my answer is going to be 35 point something 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 something. Okay, and I would say pretty close, probably about 32. It's since 12, 25. That's really close to 35. So I'm going to say around around two. All right, so. Let me show what I just did. What I did was I took any two-digit five, and I'm, and what I did was I'm trying to find out if it's halfway or not. So 1242, so I'm looking at, I know it's between 30 and 40, so I can take 35 times 35, see how I wrote it twice. There's a trick here, you can change the first one to its up one, then multiply straight down. So five times five is 25, 4 times 3 is 12, and I can see that this number is very close. So 35 is very close to that, and it's less than the one number we have. Since this is less, we know it's 35 point something. So in this case, this answer would be about 35 point something. Again, we put it in a graphing calculator under the square root of 142, and then we, we get it. Okay.